If you had the knowledge you do now at the age of 13 what would your life be like now? Depressing. Sometimes it's good to not know about certain things. I'd bet on major sporting events I'd be rich. I'm going to put what asterisk in my butthole. Sorry to be drippy, but I'd be a much better boyfriend and husband. And son. Knowing what stocks to buy. And the major sports champions of the last 50 years. I would be fucking rich. That is what my life would be like. My life would have been slightly different. Financially more stable. Less regrets and would have traveled a lot. I would have made a lot of money on Pokemon cards, Bitcoin and certain stocks. Prob would be doing similar stuff though. Just way richer. Rich AF. I would know that Bobby Gentry from down the street was lying about how sex worked. Wherever you are, Bobby. I hope you had a kid at 16. Might still have my dad and a lot of problems would no longer be problems are as large as they are. Currently, anyway. I decayed but it would have been awkward when I was 13 trying to fit in with other 13 year olds knowing. Damn well I'm pushing 30 tears of joy. I would probably have a more comfortable life today, as well as make fewer mistakes as a teenager. Pretty normal. I am 13. Probably the same. Maybe worse as I'd just be expediting the anxiety and depression onto my younger self that much. Faster. I would be the exact same, considering I am still really kinda childish. Same shit. I'd definitely be way richer. Healthier and way more confident. I'd trade options on companies get extremely rich on the housing market crash of 2008. Probably play in the NFL then buy that MF. I'd know exactly what to say to class clowns who roasted me for not having the best clothes, shoes. Cause I still remember all those. I should have said that in response, quips. Expressionless. Dear Lord sweet Jesus. I wouldn't have struggled in HS with undiagnosed and therefore unmedicated severe depression. Anxiety. And ADHD. I definitely would not be married. I would have left my hometown and went to college in a bigger city. Probably happier and less lonely. Having a better understanding of myself at a younger age would have helped a lot in my decision. Making. I'm closer to 13 than 35 so I don't think it'd change as much as other people. Asterisk but I've realized. Since I was 13 that I don't like women. Or men. So. I'd probably be a lot more comfortable with myself. I would have also never done certain things because it was. What everyone else did. Normal. Also I'd have a full college degree before the end of high school. Edit for grammar. Other than financial nothing. Jeff Bozos. Elon Musk. Mark Zuckerberg's boss and Christina Ritchie's husband. I'd be fucking rich if nothing else. Even if I couldn't remember to place some ridiculous bet about the opening play of the 2014 Super Bowl having a fumble. I think I could remember to take a few hundred bucks and buy as much Bitcoin as I could when that whole thing started. Well Bitcoin would be a hoot. I'd like to say it would have prevented a lot of my toxic relationships, but probably not. Lol. I would get my shit together and not get kicked out of private school. I just turned 20 so it's not like I'm some keeper of wisdom or anything. But I think that I would be more content my life. I would not have gone to college. Would have gone into the trades and just focused on having a family and not caring about the world so much. I would be apolitical from a younger age. Great question. I would definitely be more experienced with a side of myself that I waited too long to explore. They'd just call me depressed and a downer and wouldn't listen. Even if I was 100% accurate with every prediction. I was 13 in 1994 so at the very least I would a sweet Geo Cities page.
I honestly don't think I'd want to know. My 10-year-old son has autism. That little guy is amazing. I love him so much. And he brings so much joy to my life. But I don't know if I could knowingly take on this challenge. There's a lot of fear and stress and heartache. It's terrifying. I choose to believe that things will work out just fine. But I can't know that. And it's certainly not a foregone conclusion. I wouldn't give him up for anything. But I don't know if I'm strong enough to intentionally take on this challenge. I would have tried harder at English. History and computing. Because going to uni for them would have been better than studying tourism. Also, I would hopefully not have been hit by a car. So I might have been able to do better in my exams. The same because I am 13. Less pain. More money. If I did know about certain things, I'm certain I would fall into a nihilistic spiral I would only temporarily escape from through books, video games, and anything that doesn't involve reality. I would develop unhealthy habits and become even more distrusting of people than I am now. I would neglect my education in favor of indulging my hobbies. Which would bite me later in life when I have to find a job to keep myself alive. As my parents would have lost all patience that I would make the right choices in life and kicked me out of the house. I would have to keep everything I know about the future under wraps. Lest someone create some kind of conspiracy or cult around me. However. That is just one possible outcome based on knowing my mindset from back then. A more optimistic outcome is I would also know about what I can do to make things better and also what easy pitfalls I should avoid. Like spending several hours a day watching dumb YouTube videos. I would drop most of my hobbies in favor of trying to learn more and also try to get involved with politics. I would talk with my parents. Since they would know more about certain things than I would. I would try to make people's lives better. Even if a little bit. Through frequent volunteer work. I would take my studies more seriously. Or at the very least know that I should ask for help with something. I had a bad habit of trying to do everything myself without any help because I thought I had. Received too much help by then and needed to stand on my own two feet. Eventually, while also balancing whatever hobbies I decided to keep, I would aim for political office. Gradually climbing the ladder until I would have the opportunity to get some beneficial legislation. Done.